fashion is like okay. a lifestyle to me. It's something I love to do. Even without eating, I love to do fashion. Start by giving you guys a context. Well, my name is Happiness. A lot of people might not know this. I'm a fashion designer. And this might be hard to believe. I always wanted to be a medical doctor growing up. I wasn't really interested in fashion designing because I started learning at the age of 13. So the love for medicine died. Hmm. I found a new love, which was fashion designing. After secondary school, I decided not to further my education. It was just like a personal reason though. My parents supported me, so I started my career as a fashion designer. At the age of 16, I've learned from other fashion designers over the years, which definitely helped my growth <laughs> in becoming a fashion designer as well. I designed party where kids were ready to wear and so much more. My client base is not as big as I wanted to. Please, everybody likes money. I want it big because probably because I travel a lot, but I'm happy to do what I love enough about me so let me join my friends i will be talking about the next in fashion thank you for joining us today this is vibe with happiness Hi. Yeah. Hello. so you don't know how to smile <laughs> hi my name is doris and uh, my brand name is doris signature i'm a fashion student I love our fashion my name is Becky to Robots. I am I'm moving up with my brand name, which is Robis Clothing. The brand that I'm building for my own. I'm, I'm starting from somewhere to go and I pray God will help me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So I'm a fashion student though and I'm studying fashion too in Aushi Polytechnic. My name is Amina and my brand name is Amina. So I graduated last year. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> Hello, my name is TJ. They call me TJ White, fashion pavilion, the fashion god. Yeah. Uh, I'm a student of How is she Polytechnic. Yeah. So, what, what has been your um, fashion experience? Like, what is the worst experience you would talk, tell me about fashion that you have? Just. Well, oh. the, the worst experience about fashion is that is when you, you, you make a clothes now. And um, to you, the, the cost is very, very fine, and you so the, the, your customer will now be like, Ah, what's this? My worst part is ah, when I make clothes for myself. <laughs> well, I, I don't really like making clothes for myself because when if I just sew myself, like hmm, what is this? But if I sew for my customer, like it, it comes out nice. Like at least like it, but for myself, ah, it's terrible. Okay, yeah, my worst experience in fashion is customer payment. When the customer collects your clothes. And you're asking for your money, it's like a tug of war. Give me my money now, <laughs> come be wild. Do you have any experience, yes, Amina? I do. Yeah, my worst experience is like maybe, for example, you are cutting your fabric and then you cut the lining and the fabric together, like they are the same, like the same measurement. And then when sewing, the lining will be, sometimes the lining will be like shorter or to not be the exact length of the fabric. Yeah. That's that's good to know. But I know I definitely know that in as much as everybody has like worst experiences, you're still doing this thing because definitely you like it and yeah, there's something there is a reason. I know everybody has passion for fashion, that's why you're doing it, but there should be a, there should still be a drive. Like what 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 makes you want to still do fashion? Fashion is like okay. a lifestyle to me. It's something I love to do. Even without eating I love to do fashion. Okay. I love to do fashion. Fashion is like the motivation. I feel strength in yeah. fashion. I am sewing. I have that joy in me. Like, I have that joy in me being a fashion designer. Yeah. Because me seeing people wearing my brand, like, it's wow. Yeah. yeah. To me, I like to make clothes. Yeah. But I don't actually like to make for myself because 
I don't like to make clothes for myself because <laughs> even when I finish making the clothes, to end up too tight or too big, I then have to like I'll be I made the clothes over and over to not get tired. Yeah, I actually like to make clothes. I like fashion. Yeah. So what's really making me to really be in this fashion business? Like I don't I don't I don't want to give up. That's big. I won't give up. Yeah. I'll be my marshal in this fashion. Oh. So what that is making me really Give me that drive that I have this passion right from time. Even when I was small, I have this passion for art, anything, fashion, I have the passion. So that is really giving me drive to to, to, to move on. And I'll definitely move on. Yeah. Thank you guys so 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 much. So um as as we all know, uh like can you guys name like the fashion brand that you like to work with probably like in future? Like, do you like, do you, you know, there definitely is one fashion brand that you're looking up to the that you body. like. A fashion brand. I'm really looking up to his precious apparel. I love that lady so, so much. That lady is giving me vibes. Like, she, she, she don't hide anything. She's open minded. Like, she gives tutorial about many, many things, and I really learned to love from Most of the things I know that is from precious apparel. Mm -hmm. So, I'll give credit to her. I'll always give credit to her. My precious apparel. Precious upper. Yeah. Uh -huh. I need to check out the precious upper. Yeah. So, so, TJ. Yeah, mine is New Pele 58. This is New Pele Fashion <laughs> Concept. And another is Sweet Bar Fashion Concept. Aww. These two people are wow. They're like my my icon. I love them. I love what they do. I love their vibe. I love their vibe. I just love them. Yeah. You know, there's something you guys have in common. Which is you guys are student and you're also into fashion, yeah, yeah. And studying fashion in Auchi Polytechnic, everybody know how difficult it is and all that stuff. So, what do you not think? Like, do you think that you should know about fashion before coming to school, or definitely they will teach you everything here? My view about that is that you should at least have like two years experience about fashion. Because the reason, reason why is that this, most of the things they do here is not really from scratch. They don't do that from scratch. So it's when you have an idea already that you can really pick up with it. So you that don't have experience at all, I think you should still, at least get a so get branded in some things. Maybe it's about fashion before coming to fashion. Does anybody have anything? I think you need to have a background. <laughs> Uh, it is said that your background should not put your back on the ground, but before coming to learn fashion or coming to school in Aochi, you must have a little taste at least of fashion. That will give you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so having an idea is very, very important before coming to fashion school because without your idea, ah, it will build you like to know more. Very easy, like it's very easy for you to grab that. that. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years as a, an entrepreneur, CEO, or whatever? CEO, <laughs> confirm one, big, big, back. <laughs> yes, definitely CEO. See yourself as a CEO. Five years, CEO. Okay. Uh, in five years, time. Come on, this I'll see myself already succeeded in this fashion. Mm. I'll be in my own brand. Like, setting up the brand. Like, setting up the brand. Having more clients. I see myself in a global stage. Yes, sir. That's the idea. That's the idea. Thank you guys so, so much. Is there any advice, CG? Just give us advice to because you're already big now. <laughs> So is there any advice like you give um, aspiring entrepreneurs or probably fashion students? Don't give up. The road to the top is always rough. Keep pushing, keep striving.
Thank you.